Hey guys, today I'm showing you how to set up your first Amazon PPC campaign um, step by step. I'm going to show you what kind of campaign you need to set up first in order to launch your product on Amazon and uh, what are the things you need to consider, what are the steps you need to take in order to launch your product successfully. I'm also going to show you how to create a listing that is keyword rich and that will help your PPC campaign. I'm also going to share with you guys my lifetime A course. Uh, basically what I've paid Amazon over the years in advertising in order to generate a lot of sales. So make sure you guys watch this video till the end so you don't miss out and you get the full value. Let's get started. Hey guys, this is Farah. We talk about building business on Amazon on this channel. If you're interested in that, then please do subscribe. So you're ready to launch your product. You have to run ads. Amazon is an ad centric platform now. This is how it is and you have to run ads in order to get sales, organic, paid, whatever. You have to run ads, there is no other choice. And uh, running ads, running a PPC campaign on Amazon is the best way to launch your product because you can measure everything exactly. What keywords are generating clicks? What keywords are generating sales? What keywords are not generating sales? So you can get rid of them and just focus on what's working. If you're not gonna run ads, you're not going to get any sales. It's as simple as that. So make sure you don't spend all your budget in sourcing a product, but also, you know, uh, save it for the ad spend too. So the first thing you need before you start your PPC campaign is a keyword rich listing. And I'm going to show you how to find those keywords. Let's jump to my screen. Before you create a really good listing, you need to know um, how to optimize the listing and you know make sure that your relevant keywords are populated in the title and in the the bullet points and in description, in the backend keywords and you know all of that. So you need to know the keywords. I would just want you to search clutch bags, right? Now this is a bit more broad and clutch bags for weddings, for women wedding clutch bags on its own, clutch bag black is a highly searched term. So you want to make a list of all of these. And obviously if your clutch bag is green, then you're not gonna bid on this word, but um, it might be, uh, you know, something that you need to know and it's relevant uh, to your product category because you might have a, a, you know, that same clutch bag in black too, but it, the campaign you're creating is for green. So you need to know the search volume for your product. That's the whole point. So let's just go with that. And when I click on, and it just load up. When I click on this, find Amazon keywords for this, I think we'll get a better report. This is still running. Whatever your you need to know your product attributes and then, you know, save the relevant keywords in there so you can use those keywords. And as you can see, there's a lot of brand names mentioned. So stay away from the brand. Like don't use the keyword Valentino clutch bag, even if your bag looks like a Valentino bag, because what's going to happen is you, if you were selling something like this, you will get flagged in Amazon system and then your listing will get removed. So don't use other brand names even if they are relevant and they will bring up the clicks and impressions, you just don't want that kind of negative attention on your product. Um, so obviously this is a fashion example. So this is how you can get an easy list of, uh, you know, uh, keywords that you can use to then populate your listing with those words, uh, you know, phrases. So you would mention this, you know, clutch bags for women, when you are uh, creating the title for your listing. Um, let's use another example. So let's use like lemon um, juicer squeezer, right? Now this is a kitchen product. So let's just see what keywords pop up for this because we're gonna use these keywords to populate our listing, backend keywords. Uh, you know, we're gonna use these keywords in the title when it makes sense, uh, you know, you can't just shove in everything in just one, uh, you know, space. You need to, you know, spread them out in all the content that you're going to write for your uh, listing for SEO. This is what we're trying to do. We're doing this list so we can do, uh, you know, optimize the, the product page for SEO purposes. So let's just get this list out. 
Right, it's complete now, 100% complete, but you can see uh, there is a list of, a long list of keywords that we can use. So obviously this is mentioning lemon squeezer, you know, this is a brand Joseph and Joseph, and then manual and plastic, lemon squeezer machine, lemon squeezer metal, non-toxic lemon juice squeezer. So, you know, these are the terms that you will need to use um, in your listing, uh, you know, description, bullet points, you can download this um, as, a, as a PDF or, you know, whatever type you need, Excel, and then just save this list in here. And what that will help you do is, you know, um, make a listing that would be keyword rich. So the Amazon algorithm can, you know, re can scan the listing page and know that this is exactly the product that would be suitable for this customer let's show it to them you can go onto my channel and watch this video how to set up an amazon uk product listing fast it's it's roughly like a ten, nine minute tutorial and it'll show you how to create a listing but this is how you should use the keywords and create the listing and uh, then yeah you'll be on your way to create your first campaign i just wanted to show you a couple of things first so this is um my my lifetime you can see the date range lifetime and uh, obviously i've been selling even before that but um this is when amazon started uh, uh giving uh third party sellers advertising uh platform in the uk and so straight away i started uh my campaigns and you can see the a cost is ridiculous it's like you know six percent and then in 2015 it goes up to nine percent so these are just showing you my paid sales. So of um, th this is the difference that it shows. So uh, 2014, it started, yeah, I think it was somewhere around September. And then 2015, I had a great year. Then you can see that it starts tapering down the, the, this, uh, in 2016, it was, uh, it cost was higher than last year and, um, you know, less sales, paid sales. And then in 2017, boom, it drops to like, you know, uh, basically a thousand pounds of sales at 10% a cost. And then you can see the monthly after this. So bef the data before, uh, 2016 is yearly and in, then now you can see my you know month on month from 2017 and it's just fascinating like for every thousand pound of um paid sales i had to pay about 10 percent uh you know cost of sale and it stays similar throughout uh 2018 2019 and i was running campaigns uh you know all my advertising myself and then uh, around uh, as you can see in 2019 it starts getting out of control it's um you know, uh, we couldn't keep the, bring the cost down. And so the, the ratio is roughly the same, uh, you know, but as you can see, like the A cost was climbing. So I hired an agency, uh, you know, I think in February or March, um, 2019, but you can see like even professionals, they couldn't bring the cost down as much. And so, um, what this goes to prove is that, you know, uh, nobody has a clue how to control ACOS. You just have to make sure that you do all your homework. So around, you know, this is last, last year around lockdown, uh, March, April, you can see my, my ACOS just went crazy at 46% and only 5,000 pounds of paid sales. And it was just ridiculous. And it's, uh, you know, last, last month of February, it's like crazy again. Um, uh, you know, really high ACOS, but that's, that's like, you know, as you can see for the last six years, my ACOS of doing business on Amazon is about 25%. So it's, you know, it's, it's, it's something that you have to like, just, um, deal with. It's, it's part of running an Amazon business that you have to have an advertising, uh, campaigns, promoting your product, putting them in front of customers. So with that out of the way and giving you a long-term you know, a picture here. Let's see how we can create our first campaign. So when you will click on advertising tab in your seller central, this is sort of Amazon's advertising portal you're landing and it will show your portfolio. So obviously I have a big portfolio of products 
So I have portfolios. But for your first product, you don't need to create that. You just need to create a campaign here. Uh, this is where you will be. So you will create your first sponsored product, which will be basically coming up in search results. Um, this is this is sponsored brand ads, and these basically are like headline search ads. That's what it used to be called before. Um, but these come at the top of the search on a desktop, or uh, or I think in mobile too. It's the same place, and then sponsored display that can come, you know, anywhere on Amazon or off Amazon whatever the network is but it's their display network so we will just focus for beginners on this so you just press continue and let's start creating the campaign so as you can see it's just one page or all the settings that you need to do you need to just create here so we will first just name the campaign so follow the you know um the template that amazon is giving you so what you want to do is just type your product name in so for example, I'm just using, um, let's just call it, um, you can either use your ASIN so you know exactly what this campaign is for. Uh, it's for this ASIN. Um, for clarity, you can either put your model number in, you know, whatever your product model name is, you know, something short just to um, tell you that basically this is the product identifiers and then you know that this is the start date um, if you want to take the timestamp out it's up to you as you start uh, creating more uh, campaigns it's good to organize them in portfolios and portfolios is basically if you have um, you know kitchen product lines put them all in kitchen um, uh, product lines or if you want to even go um, more focused if you have um, you know, kitchen knives in 10 different colors, then all of those ads should be in one portfolio, like kitchen knives. And then if you have um, a different kitchen product, which is just, um, you know, some other pastry mats, then that should, all of the colors should be in one portfolio. So that's what it really means. So we will put the start date as whatever the date is and no end date because it needs to carry on working and then you just add a daily budget in so the amount you're willing to spend on this campaign each day it needs to be enough uh like you your campaign shouldn't be running out budget because then it will just stop displaying so i'll just put um you know you can put up to 25 or you know 50 pounds per day and it doesn't mean that it's just gonna spend all of the 50 pounds it, it'll just you know sp spread it out uh, because this is like all um, algorithm based uh, so this is how it works and then you select automatic campaigns so for beginners for the first campaign you need to farm keywords we need to find um, keywords that are going to bring in clicks and hopefully some sales so we're not going to choose manual targeting manual targeting you choose when you know exactly what you're going to bid on but we don't know yet don't, we don't know that yet we just have a hunch and then we want to see what target, what, what keywords are going to bring in sales. So we're just going to put an automatic targeting in. We're just going to select automatic targeting and this will be Amazon will target keywords and products that are similar to the products in your ad. And then we'll see what data we get out of it. And then campaign bidding strategy. So you can read this, choose how you want to pay for clicks on your ads. So we will select dynamic bids down only and that just means that amazon will um, you know lower your bids in real time when your ad may less less likely to convert to a sale so it just it's more um frugal to do this i guess but uh if you're gonna be you know you need to watch your campaign uh, you know when you when you're starting out you know a couple of times a day and you know maybe every two three hours just to see how it's performing so you can you know select this and just see how it performs and if whether it will bring you a sale or not uh, because remember we are farming data we need to know um you know what keywords are bringing in sales and clicks and impressions so we need uh so don't select fixed bids we need to select either one of these two options and you can you know um you can edit your campaign anytime so just try both either one of them um but I think it'd be if you want to be a bit frugal it'd be best if you just select dynamic bids down only 
And then what you'll do is you'll just create an ad group, clutch bags, um, and then what you'll do is you'll product uh, from here, just select and add it in. So after selecting your product, this is the bit where you can select your bid. You can uh, choose what you want to bid on each keyword. And, um, you know, Amazon obviously uh, intuitively suggests that this should be a suggested bid, 58 pence. Um, and this is the range they suggest. So you can se either select from this range or just use this. You can just click on suggested bid and that's fine. Some people say you should bid um, 10 percent more than what they're suggesting in order to win uh, but it's um, you can either use their suggested range or whatever but remember we are just doing automatic targeting and we are farming data right and now um, the next thing is negative keywords it's very very important that you put some negative keywords in because you don't want to get clicks from terms that are just completely irrelevant if your product is not a blue clutch bag and you and so you don't want to be coming up for this so you can just write blue clutch bag or um it's a sequin clutch bag so i want to not come up for you know velvet clutch bag or you know all the rest of it if it was um basically if i don't want to come up for you know like a car clutch I don't want to come up for my, I don't want my campaign to, you know, come, come up for any of these words because this is a fashion product, not a car product. So you can add all of these in, but as your, your campaign, um, you know, farms data, you should be like, you know, increasing this list of keywords, making sure that you're not, uh, paying for clicks, um, on keywords that are not actually going to convert because those people are not looking for that kind of product. So that's the purpose of negative keyword targeting. When And negative product target is the same thing. So you can add a list of products here that you do not want to be, you know, shown related to like, you know, like I said, car clutch bag, totally unrelated negative product. Uh, so you can just add a, a list of product or ASINs in, uh, copy them from Amazon's product page. And that's about it. And then you can just save as a draft or if you want to rework on it, but that's about it. And that's it. You just launch your campaign. So there it is, guys. These are your options. I hope you will use this video as a tutorial to prepare to launch your product on Amazon. Make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video, which is going to be how you build your campaigns further on Amazon as you are farming keywords, mining keywords, whatever. So I think that's it for today. I will see you guys next week. Bye.